Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, what we're going to be doing is installing Metasploit on Ubuntu. I just got done installing Ubuntu VM and I want to install Metasploit, so I just figured I'll make a video on installing Metasploit into the Ubuntu distro. So if you're ready for the video, let's get into it. Thanks. <music> Alright guys, so this is the Ubuntu um, install I just pretty much did about, I don't know, half hour ago. And uh, so the only, thing I, the only thing I did do, I finished the upgrade uh, from when I was doing the updates and I did the upgrade. And then I installed the, 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 uh, the guest editions. So that's how it's bigger now and looks better than before. So what I want to do is install Metasploit on here so I can do some other stuff, um, some other uh, vulnerability assessments and, and, and some exploits and stuff like that, but because I want to test some stuff on Ubuntu. So I figured why not just put together a little video on how to do this just in case anyone else out there wants to check it out. All right, so first things first, um, you go to Rapid7 get the Metasploit, installing the Metasploit framework. And if we go down a little bit, let me make sure I can, you can see it. This is how you do it in Windows, in Windows, um, installing it in Windows, but we're gonna be doing this on Linux. So if we go down, down, down right here, see if we can zoom this in a little bit. Uh, be better. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna open up a terminal like we have right here. Now we have it. Uh, let's uh, let's make this bigger. Get one more bigger, right there. And let's bring this over here. All right, so we can minimize that for now. So what we're gonna do is copy this whole shebang. Copy this, and we're gonna paste it into the terminal so we can get to installing it. All right. So all right. So first we have to do this. So sudo apt install curl and my fancy fancy password. Let that do its thing. And while that does its thing, sorry, I just want to put my phone over there. So it does. And now we'll just do this again. And then we'll go about installing this. Okay. So let's just bring this down a little bit. Minimize that so we don't have to see that in the background. To bring this down as much as I can. So let's bring it over to, I guess we can see it like this. I'm just looking over there because I can see my face, my big head. So once this is done, this is probably take, I would say two to four minutes, depending on the internet speed, right? Sometimes it could take five minutes. Um, but if I was to guess, it'll probably take Five, five to ten minutes. I, I, I don't really know. I'm just guessing. And uh, let's go back to the web page real quick. So, so after the installation is complete, we're going to open up the terminal and start the MSF console. So we're going to type dot backslash forward slash and, and MSF console. And once that's done, we're going to say you know obviously create a new database. You know we can create a new database. It's going to start, you know, pretty much it'll start the post GRE um, SQL, we'll create the users, et cetera, et cetera. And then it'll be at the MSF and you can see, you know, we can check all that stuff out once it's, uh, once it's done. So what it may do, I'm going to pause this for a second because I said, you know, it's 2222 right now, if you see up here. So it's uh, 10, 1022. Let's see how long it takes. All right. I'll be back with you guys shortly. Thanks. All right, guys, welcome back. So that took probably around four minutes. So, so you see how it says here, it says run MSF console to get started. So we'll copy this, paste, enter. And would you like to start a new database? I would say yes. And it'll create a new database for Metasploit. And once that new database is created, it'll start it and we should see the Metasploit come up. So we'll give this a second to generate. Sorry for the squeaky chair. 
All right. It's fine. So now it's going to stop the the, uh, the service. And we're almost there. There it is. So Metasploit has been successfully installed. So for example, you can do show options. And we can see the options. We can do search Windows 10. What I mean to do that. Windows 10. You can see, you know, whatever you want to search, you could go ahead and search. And uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So let's exit out of here. Clear the screen. And that's it. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And if you like, please like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you have any recommendations of what videos you would like to see, let me know. And I'm here for you guys. And uh, again, stay safe with this coronavirus. Take care.